Okay, let's talk a little bit about resistance and volume. All right, what we said earlier was resistance is resistivity times L over A. Make your cable longer, it gets more resistance. Make it thicker, it gets less resistance. Let's think about this section of cable here. A is, of course, a cross-sectional area. L is the length. So this cable occupies some volume. The volume is just the cross-sectional area A times its length, right? That's the volume of this cylinder. All right. Can I factor that into the resistance? Resistance, we said, was rho L over A. And I can say this is rho L over, what if I just solve this for A? I got A equals volume over L. So let's put that right here, volume over L. And now I know what I do. I flip the L's up to the top and I get rho L squared divided by volume. So resistance R is in fact proportional to one over the volume. And this is in fact one way that you can measure stuff like blood flow. Okay, you guys are biology majors, a lot of you. You can in fact measure the blood flow this way because it's easy to measure the resistance of someone. You put an electrode here, you put an electrode there, you can measure the resistance of that circuit. And if that resistance is in fact proportional to one over the volume, namely the volume of blood flow, then you can in fact calculate how much blood flow there is. Okay. Is that person suffering from high blood pressure, low blood pressure, good circulation, bad circulation? You can do it by measuring something in physics called resistance. And that's a lot of the times when you see those electrodes hooked up to people, right? One, they're measuring electrical signals from the heart firing, but two, they can also measure how much blood is in them and how much blood is flowing in them. Just kind of cool.